So yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course we are back with another Joker Mouth video. So yes, we got the full banners. They are here. I remember last year I did a video for this, but I didn't get it out in time. I was gonna do shit for some minutes, stuff like that. Because a lot of people are just debating like on this banner. For here we got the anniversary banners. They are live in the game, fully here, all that stuff though, of course. So yeah, um, full of energy is really hot where I am though, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So yeah, of course we got some new info today. Of course, like I said, the banners actually did go live. One second, actually. Um, um I just had to um, move my tablet over for a little bit though. So um, yeah, we did get some new news right here. Of course, like I said, the banners are live. They have discounts and everything. Tickets, like we all thought and stuff like that. Again, Dover Fest tickets A and B are here, so that's great. And Global has like rainbow tickets too and discounts. So yeah, Global's eating good today. Global fans, Global only fans right there, just eating today good. So uh, yeah. I know a lot of people are happy about it though. I am too though, of course. I, I just noticed that I'm wearing my Dragon Ball Super shirt right here. Wow, I just noticed that I was doing this. I was like, wait, what? I just kind of noticed that as I was doing the video. Again, a little nitpicks and details. I kind of hate them. So yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said though, um, the bears aren't actually that bad. They actually are really good though. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people said they have aged. I don't know, for me that was kind of like, yeah, I'm only missing like a couple units on here because I only literally need five units from the banner and that's it. Two new units and like three like other units though. Um, so yeah, in my head I was like, wait, is that five? Yeah, um, because I'm missing like Beerus, yeah. I think I'm missing like so Ink Gloom Frieza, which I don't really care about that much though, but whatever. Uh, whatever I get. I never, again, I never pull them anyway though. So yeah, the bears are actually pretty good though themselves, like I said. Of course, Global has discounts and stuff like that. Really, really good. Again, the first step you get three. Again, you get three each step though. So yeah, I know if you buy like, I think there's like a ticket pack if you buy it and get, I think you really get 69 tickets. I was like, what the heck? Oh, uh, I was like, okay. Um, but yeah, again, you summon and stuff like that. Um, again, these will be the first steps you ever summon on the banner with. I think before it was like, I think it was like what 25, 35, whatever. I will do summons for the video though. I will do summons for us. Um, all this stuff, of course. But yeah. Um, I'll try to do those at least. Um, again, it's probably gonna be really long though, but I might do a couple. I might do like once in a video or whatever, and like maybe record some like off screen or whatever. But um, yeah, I might do it a couple of days in advance. Uh, cause I like to summon like on the very last day and stuff like that, just cause um. That's all I am. I've been like that since like forever. I like something a lot of day, got my stones up. Um, you know, to like the farm. I don't like to do it day one anymore. I like to, you know, wait and stuff like that. Again, you don't have to summon day one just because everybody tells you to. You can summon whatever you feel like. It's your account. Do whatever you want with it. And a lot of people summon, do summon day one though, just to get me. Because a lot of people actually send some sort of pulls. A lot of people got lucky. Last year, for me though, fifth year was just, it was, oh, it was just bad. Because um, I got like, well, I went under, under one, last year I literally went under, what, 1,600. Like, 35 stones or whatever and I didn't pull them until like I hit like almost a thousand like I think a thousand in like 62 I was like uh, it wasn't bad though but it just uh it just took forever and it was exhausting so yeah again discounts are really good tickets are really good then that we had the rainbow ticket as well that's worth it on global again um if you're like a new player, the tickets are actually really valuable. The more you summon, the more tickets you can. Not really summon though, because I think it used to be random, I think, last year. I think last year it was random. Then it was like, you know, you get like six or whatever. I think they just took the three, because again, you get like a. Yeah, again, like just doing the steps and stuff like that. You get both from either or banner though. You don't get from both, um, both banner. So it's physical. This is why Goku's once. Um, you know, someone on his banner, you get the tickets. Someone on like Evolution Goku Vegeta, etc., etc. And of course, like I said, I do the fourth step, um, the fifth, the fifth, uh, seventh step, or um, just repeat. Like these steps. I didn't do this the first time. Other bears, the first time you summon on them, these steps will be afterwards. So, yeah, it good. This is all the first time you summon on the banner. This is all the um, this is the rest of the steps. So, yeah, again, after doing all the first four steps, you get the um, you get five through seven and eight um, infinitely. So, yeah, again, you get so many, you still get tickets from their video. So, yeah, um, again, just it's simple and stuff like that. So, yeah, again, global having those discounts are actually really good. The also celebration will not have them because it's both global and JP, though. So, yeah. Um, it's gonna be weird because I know Global already. I think they are they already hit number one in um for Global specifically. I think they already hit number one in um the US already. But now we go for like France, Luxembourg. You know, typical stuff we always gotta wait for anyway though. So um regardless though, so it makes sense stuff like that, of course. So um again makes sense. We know it's simple and easy to go for those stuff like that of course. But yeah, um but yeah, like I said, those barons actually are really good though. Again, they're really really good. I like them. Um again, Buhan, UI, Goku are probably the ones I'm really the most hyped for. Um. Um, the L you want to go to. Gohan isn't that bad either, but those are probably like because yeah, I only need like I think these guys right here Ultima Gohan, Boo. Um, I, again, the down celebration units I've not pulled them since like Omega and like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta originally came out. This is the last time I ever pulled the down celebration units. Out of that, I never pulled them actually on the down celebration, I pulled them either anniversary or you know, because you already know they're gonna be back here um during down celebration anyway, though. So, 
Uh, regardless, though, um, they're gonna be again. They're gonna be back here for Dallas celebration because last year got hung several on the banner. Um, so yeah, again, they don't, they don't have your banner at this point. Um, I just start pulling Gohan like during Dallas celebration. I think he was on the banner last year as well, though. Um, again, they come back like every anniversary at this point, though. And they're probably gonna be on the Dallas celebration banner or Omega Shimron Super Saiyan for Gogeta League because Dokken Air changed his profile and stuff like that. On I think like Dokken Air, uh, somebody changed the profile on like you know um thing on their um on their Twitter, and it's like, okay, yes, yeah, confirmed. But if I seriously does it, again, they're not really, like, I seriously, um, Del Connor and stuff like that. They don't really do it as much, even Kawhi, even though he has, like, a YouTube channel now. Um, they kind of do it here and there and stuff like that, though, but I'm um, not as recent, though, so yeah. Again, the is really good. Even Vegeta's Bear is really good. I think I like Goku's over Vegeta's, I think, wise, but I think the Vegeta has, like, you know, like, Goku, Vegeta are really good. Evolution Blue, Vegeta's good. 17, I um, was really good. And again, both players actually are both balancedly, balancedly really good. Got um, again, because again, I don't really care about, like, pulling, like, the side or whatever because they'll be on every banner moving forward so it really only really matters to me like the lrs and other like teams i do not have because that's why i usually focus on anniversary is people i do not have have these guys i already have and maybe because i realize they've been on like every banner a lot though maybe because i've been just opening my eyes realizing realizing it now this year because last year i didn't really care this year it's like yeah i've been focusing on it a lot more it's like yeah i kind of know it's all these units have come back though um but all these bands worth summoning on i say yes because global especially if you're on global right now because you have discounts tickets if you don't summon on this banner then you're just kind of i'm sorry you're just stupid because you're missing out on really good lrs really good units like buhan angel goku angel vegeta are really good ui goku is like probably like the best unit in the game now at this point he does a lot um but yeah um even like uh, just, again these bears are really worth it just, i say something because um I, i'm not just yeah i say if you don't really want to pour all your stones into this i say yes because the anniversary will give up like for jp i think they got like what like eight eight hundred like 27 stones or 855 Gobo will probably get a little bit more maybe because just because i don't think they will i think the, and yeah because i'm um, going during the login they got like i think 66 or whatever though so yeah both the EZAs that you haven't done because all the easy A's are back there especially the ones you have not done yet though um yeah even the 66 even the 66 unit is worth summoning on um but yeah then of course global will have um again like these are the regular banners right here and then global will have duplicate banners because to be on the rainbow ticket you get these permissions for the anniversary this is what jp's banner again the colors are just the colors are just inverted though so yeah again, again global right is we'll have this in part two of the um I was already distracted over here. I'm watching Spider-Man over here, so I'm just kind of getting distracted a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, I like to have something a little bit distracting once I do a video. Uh, it kind of, I don't know. Sometimes it helps. I don't know why. It just, it, it kind of does. But yeah, um, like I said though, um, uh, getting a notification. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm just looking though. So yeah, uh, this will be a duplicate banner again. Both of the banners are gonna be the same. Just had Global has his rainbow ticket. Gonna be a missions for Global anyway. It's like a special thank you rainbow ticket on Global now. So yeah, again, the banners are completely the same. Again, another ticket version of the banner. Then you have the regular Global tickets and discounts. It's worth it on Global. It's better than you summoning on you know this Android Part Two. This will be the Part Two LRs on um, right here. Seventeen and um, Golden Frieza. He'll be again like Seventeen gets literally two LRs here because then Golden Frieza don't wake into a Frieza and Seventeen when they fought Jiren. This is just Team Universe Seven. Or they don't like them, but it's still 17. But yeah, it's again, you got summon on this banner for part two. If you want to get the LR, that's great, but it's like you're, not, you're just gonna summon to get this trash because like this Frieza really isn't that good. No one ever really uses him anymore, no one uses the 17. Frieza actually, this Frieza is somewhat, yeah, see, is somewhat useful. Actually, actually, he's really good for um, other world warriors for specifically building that team. Goku's pretty solid. 17 is a really good underrated EZA, but again, you just gotta summon to get like all this stuff that you get on normal banners. So you gotta summon to get all this on like the, L like the LR banners or whatever because you're gonna probably end up doing that. Not though. Plus, it's double LR on the banners. Like, they're not really the best thing in the world, though, but. I say in my opinion, though, these banners aren't worth it. The LR banners are never worth it. 66 one is worth it. And before you summon on the banner, I want to say, like, for the, um, you, um, New Year's, for the, um, before you summon on the, um, ticket banner, probably, I say do this one, because, you know, before you summon on the anniversary banner, I say do this one. This one's worth it, because, um, guess what? Let me guess, because you can get LRs here. There's so many LRs in here now, and it's worth it. It's better than you wasting your stones on, you know, um, this part two LR banner, uh, this Fidel banner right here, this is like, it's good though, it has a really good value, Ultimate Gohan, Bojack, um, uh, you know, it was awesome and stuff like that, but again, you don't really want to, I'm not saying it's bad though, but it's saying it's like, don't, I feel like, if you want, if Fidel's your favorite character, I get that, but, I mean, it's okay to summon on it, and Gohan's pretty okay as well, but these banners have more value. I know Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta is still good, Android 13, but these banners have way more value, just, these units are just way better, they age a lot better and stuff like that though, but yeah, um, 
And even like this is Gogeta Bear right here for um JP and stuff like that. This one's actually still really good as well, though. I'm just saying in my opinion, though, it's still really good. But um, again, there's a lot of value here. Like if you want someone on this banner, I say that, but I don't I don't think right now, you know, like doing um don't I don't think like you know doing this, summoning on this anniversary, skipping down celebration, summon on this. Um, then you know we have like Dragon Ball Heroes coming in November. Then we got this if you want something on it for global. Again, a lot of just stuff like here and there. A lot of people are gonna just hate on that because again we gotta remember Dragon Ball Heroes is a thing now for um you know November and stuff like that. So we gotta remember that. Even though you, every time you summon you do get a featured unit though you don't need to throw every stone that banner. But if you want to throw a couple multis at that banner, they come back to this one. I don't say it's bad though. But yeah, again, you like Goku's worth it. All this stuff is worth it in my opinion though. I'm not saying I'm not saying right now. Um, if you want to skip anniversary, go ahead. You know you're missing out on a lot of good value with this stuff. I'm just Saying. You're missing out a lot of tickets, valuable stones. What's the point of playing on global? Even the if you skip this one, you're like stupid because I don't. I get it's a ticket version of it, but if you want to get another LR, it's worth it. But if you don't want something on this, I kind of get it though. But at the same time, I feel like don't do it. Don't don't mess up your chances to get like two LRs. That's two possibly. I don't know most what LRs you can get. Last year I didn't get lucky though, but um I did get one LR though. I did get um LR God Goku. I believe I think off of this, but um yeah though. Um, it's worth it. It's someone on this banner is worth it. Please do not like skip. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna save a download celebration. I'm gonna skip this, save for Dogeta and blah blah blah. I don't think it's worth it. No, I mean, plus again, UI Goku's really good though. Of course, like I said, oh wrong one. I did. I you really did not need that up there. Even the regular ticket banner is still good though. Like again, you're still getting stuff from off the banner. Again, UI Goku's really good. He's disgusting and stuff like that. Dodging. I mentioned him a lot of videos. He's really good and stuff like that. He's worth it to get. Even Vegeta with the new custom mechanic and stuff like that. He's worth it to get as well. Um, go on and freeze. Uh, uh, Goku, man, go on Piccolo actually pretty solid as well. They only really meant to run like really rough speed for seven. Even this guy as well though. Um, even these two as well. Go, um, go on and freeze. Up. They're pretty solid again. But yeah, the anniversary units again. They want you to spend your money. They want you to use these units though. They want you to do it. So I say it's worth it for something on the banner or something like that. Again, don't try to be like, oh, we almost have for Gogeta. If you want to save for Gogeta, if you want to skip all this, go ahead. It's um. Good choice and stuff like that. So yeah, again, I'll say summoning on this banner is worth it. If, again, if you really just want to like, you know, go hardcore and stuff like that, this banner again does it on this trash. It's horrible. LR banner is always horrible anyway. Video banner isn't that bad though, but I don't really say don't try to do too much because that's uh, you know between the down celebration, that's not really worth it to do. Again, go will have like a discount or whatever. Um, this banner isn't that bad either though as well. Um, go this banner isn't that bad, but I don't say really summoning on it's worth it. Uh, this will be like next year or whatever though. Even a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna summon on Pike, I'm gonna skip the anniversary and download celebration to summon on Gogeta. That's great, but then you get some of that stupid Tanabata banner for like Christmas, because this will be on in global for like December and stuff like that. Again, the end of the year, global gets crazy though, so spinning your stones is kind of like, you know, crazy near the end of the year for global. For JP, it's okay, because you know, we got kind of stuff into like the, you know, end of the year, um, Dunkin' Face units, because you know, last year we got Pike on Tempa. the year before that was Angel Goku and Majin Vegeta. But yeah, again, just want like this banner is actually really worth it to go on if you really want to go for it. This banner is actually really worth it because Gogeta is really good. Gogeta is really good. Gohan and Goten are really good. Good, good. Like all these units are good. Like you get value out of this. This is value. Um, this has somewhat value in it though because Future Gohan is a really good unit. Uh, Charles is actually pretty good. Okay, but he's starting to age up a little bit. Garlic Junior is probably like one of the best support, like, one of the best side banner units in the game. Gohan's really good. Um, Gogeta is still really good. Um. Uh, again, this banner is actually really good as well. I didn't see it before though, but like these couple units are actually really good though. Like Gohan, Zamasu, Trunks. Like Trunks is still a really good top 10, top 5, 15 unit, whatever in the game. But Dale's probably like, one of the best ones. Just, just crazy. Bojack's still good. But yeah, again, I say do not summon on like just. I don't know. I mean, there's value in those banners, but not as like, you know, don't. I say something on the anniversary is a little bit more worth it and stuff like that. These are worth it. Again, Global has discounts, tickets, um, rainbow tickets if you really want to go that hard in part two. Again, yeah, with part two and stuff like that, but whatever. Um, yeah, discounts, tickets, tons of stones, tons of resources, all that stuff to get ready. Again, you have much to prepare for this, though, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the, end the video there, though. So, yeah, again, some of these banners do not mess up your chances. If you mess up, that's your fault. If you want to save for Videl, you know, save, you know, skip anniversary, save for Videl uh, or Gogeta, um, that's your choice. Again, that's your choice. Play the game how you feel like it. But I say the anniversary is worth it. I say go for it. But on top of that, though, like I said before, the banners are worth it. Six, six summon tickets more worth it than, like, you know, trying to get, like, you know, Videl. Because, again, you're going to never use her active school anyway. And she's not on as many teams. Gohan doesn't fall under the same radar, but his banner really isn't really, like, really worth it either. Um, 
again, you have like a hot spot to like mix units and stuff like that, um, of course. Then on top of that, again, like I said previously as well, again, a good dude's better probably is like worth the worth out of all of this. So, but again, you still got to say for down celebration, all that stuff though. So, yeah, see you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Grab the Oku John Gendo. Make sure to stay safe. Watch trans. God bless all of you. If you're going out, put your white bathroom and toilet paper right in the What can I think about all this info though? Of course, did you bug it? Did you hear it? I think it's cool. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. I keep covering my nose while I'm doing this. Oh, what's wrong with me? So, yeah, see you guys later though. Again, no. Peace out.